You are children, therefore you must obey me. And so the appeal to holiness, the appeal to right living, comes from our relationship with God as Father. We must understand that God is our Father, and if we know who we are in relation to God, then the commands of God and the imperative of God upon our lives can be fulfilled. And so the imperative depends upon the indicative. And we see this in the New Testament as well. You are the children of God. You are cleansed. You are washed. You are purified. You are in Christ. Therefore, fulfill your calling. Therefore, obey the Lord. Therefore, put off the old and put on the new. And so, what we're talking about in this current series on knowing the Father is vital to every part of our faith and of our conduct. Now, the Old Testament also prophesies that the Messiah will be the mighty God, the everlasting Father. At the very beginning of this session, I spoke about how that the entire Godhead is understood as Father. God the Father, of course, that's, that's clear, but God the Son is also fatherly. Isaiah 9 verse 6 speaks of the, of the uh, Messiah. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. So this is talking about the second person of the Trinity, whom we know as Jesus Christ. Then it goes on to say, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Now, it might seem strange to think of the Son in terms of fatherhood. But it's, if he is the governor, and if he is the ruler, then that is a fatherly role, a fatherly function, which, of course, as, as we know, is given to him by God the Father. And so the government of God rests upon his shoulder. God has conferred upon the Son governmental authority for the purpose of redemption and restoration. But the time comes and will come, according to 1 Corinthians 15, that the kingdom that the Son has received will be handed back to the Father. So the Daniel 7 picture of the heavenly Son of Man who receives a kingdom governing authority from the ancient of days who will go forth to conquer and to govern and to restore the universe back to its rightful place, he will then hand that kingdom back to the Father. But in the meantime, he is understood in a fatherly role. So there are many pictures too in the Old Testament of messianic fatherhood. Messianic fatherhood, Psalm 2, Psalm 89. We're going to come back to this in a later session. These show us that the Messiah is there to be a father 